area? To Winterfell, I'm finally going home. Come with me. Come with me. The deconstruction of Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 2, Aya and Nymeria, 2017. Directed by Mark Myloid and edited by Tim Porter. The scene opens up with a Fade from Black wide panning establishes shot. This makes the audience aware that this is a new scene. The beginning also contains an L cut which helps keep the flow of the edit moving without it becoming tedious. The shot establishes the location and raises questions to the audience. This links in with Bartha's Enigma theory, which include questions like, who is this girl and why is she alone? With some after effects, the breath has been digitally created. This helps capture the realism of the scene. The colour of the image has been enhanced with a tinge of blue, which helps emphasise the coldness. This also helps identify what part of the country the characters are in, such as when they're in King's Landing, the colouring has a yellow slash orange tinge. This suggests that it is a hot place and dusty, as it is a tightly packed city. When they're in Dawn, the colouring has a green tinge. This emphasises the environment and the fact it has lots of open land. The next cut used is a straight cut. These are frequently used throughout the scene. This cut helps advance the story along, and these are continually used throughout the narrative. The pace is slow and feels very relaxed. This allows us to pay attention to the extra detail within the shots. All the shots so far include diegetic sound. This includes the fire crackling, the breathing and the horse sounds. By this point the pace has changed and as the more the horse is getting startled, the more the atmosphere changes. The sound then contains non-diegetic and the use of a high pitched note being played helps emphasise the eeriness. This is also used in Stephen King's 2017 It. Now we aren't strangers, are we? I should get going now. Oh. Without your bow? This is a really creative way to allow the audience to know that something dangerous is going to happen. A sound effect is added here as an L cut as Aya turns around. It helps emphasise the narrative, making the audience aware that she suddenly becomes spooked and Aya has realised she is in danger. Straight cuts also assist the atmosphere as it intensifies her reaction and builds the tension up. These next couple of clips really show how a simple straight cut can have a big impact. Each cut has a reaction shot of Aya creating a montage. Montages are used to keep the narrative flowing rather than tell the whole story. It also includes invisible cuts, as it cuts to different parts of the wall. This helps build that tension even further, and with the back and forth shots of the wolves and Aya, which even relates to the contrast in Provodkin's editing techniques, suggesting the good and the bad. The tradition of diegetic sound continues throughout the scene, with the development of the wolves growling, blowing of the wind, sound of the sword, and the footsteps. This all helped capture the realism, making the viewer feel more involved. The pace is built up and fast and suddenly slows down as a large direwolf Nymeria approaches Aya. The music is even more intense and various violins are used to create the typical creepy horror soundtrack, which adds to the rhythm and atmosphere. 
This sound then comes to a sudden halt, which underlines the intenseness of the scene. This also is used in David Sandberg's Annabelle, 2017. The pace is now slow, but by this time it's not relaxed. The rhythm still contains the tense atmosphere, and by doing so, this emphasises the importance of the shot. Another thing to pick up on is the fact that she hardly blinks in this scene. This links with the rhythm and pace and the length of the shots has been edited in. This helps drag out the character's emotions and highlights the danger she is in. This creates the impression of adrenaline she is feeling, and also helps the audience eye trace as her eyes are the focal point of the shot. As Nymeria approaches Aya, this suggests to the audience that she has some sort of relevance to her. The edit supports this by dragging out the clip to highlight the emotions which reveal what the character is feeling, but also makes the audience understand her emotions. A unique way to do this is by holding the shot for a longer time, either by a slow zoom or a slow motion. Here we have a cut on action of her putting the sword down, from a medium over the shoulder shot to a wide shot and back. This helps hide the edit and continues the story along so that it doesn't get dull. Oh, yeah. The next bit of the shot has been slowed down to help portray the emotions of the animal. Non-diagetic sound is placed over of slow emotional violins which is recognised as a symbol of a house dark sigil. This also relates to Povodkin's let motif. A slight cut on action is used for the raising of her arm and more straight cuts are used for the development of the character's reaction. Come with me. The pace is slowed down which connects with the edit of the shot of Aya's face as it has a slow zoom. As this realises that Nymeria is a different character to the what she wants. It also connects with the audience in an emotional level as the rhythm is soft and calm which portrays the emotion sadness. The scene ends with a straight L cut which keeps the flow of the next scene.